So guys, Ontario PNP is once again in the news. Major overhauling is happening with regards to Ontario PNP. Lot of changes with regards to the employer job offer streams, the international job offer stream, the international student stream, the foreign worker stream, then the other changes as well in language, education, monetary policies. Everything is getting overhauled, especially under the light of the new NOC codes that are going to be released on November 16th, the year 2022. What are these changes? How is Ontario PNP overhauling its PNP to suit the new NOC codes is the main topic of the day. Please be tuned till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of coming to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, like I told you earlier, Ontario PNP by far one of the most popular provinces and the most popular PNPs most sought after is once again in the news and they are overhauling the entire PNP, the Ontario PNP for good. Now, if you already know that the new NOC code system is already on the way, November 16th is the scheduled date when the new tier based system will be rolled out in the federal programs. Now to suit those NOC codes, Ontario PNP is also making changes to the PNP as expected. Now, five broad changes that are happening with regards to Ontario. They've already opened their doors for public consultations, which are open up till October 21st. That is when people will be able to make comments and uh, give their particular suggestions all about. Now, uh, if you are also wanting to give a suggestion to them, please feel free to drop on their uh, media release and that ways you will be able to drop a suggestion. Now, hovering over to what are the updates? The first update is that Ontario PNP will be changing all the respective NOC codes from 0AB to the respective tier codes of uh, 0, 1, 2 or 3. This will be done across all the streams to make sure that the eligibilities are passed over correctly and the affected uh, occupations will also be rolled over. So whatever occupation was eligible previously will obviously be rolled over to the new tier based system. So that's the first change that is happening. That change will be made public very, very soon. The other change that they have declared is that the employer uh, job offer the in demand stream, which was the in demand skill stream, which was there. Uh, you know, suiting the NOC codes C and D will be rolled over to the tier based system four and five. This will ensure that the correct mapping of the NOC codes has happened and the suitability to the new applicants can be rolled over and the people can still reap the benefits out of it. The third biggest change is happening with regards to the language requirements of the employer job offer, the foreign worker stream. Now, what Ontario wants to do is introduce a minimum language requirement of CLB 5, which is the Canadian language benchmark of 5, standard 5. And that's why they say that it's important for the right kind of integration of the public from the, uh, uh, you know, the immigrant category into the labor market to avoid any misrepresentations or, or any such frauds. They want this particular uh, thing to be integrated in the employer job offer the foreign worker stream. The next bigger change is going to happen in the uh, education requirements of the employer job offer the international student stream. Now within this Ontario wants people who are applying with a certificate of at least one year to meet the specific criteria of the Ontario college graduate certificate as defined under the Ontario qualifications framework. What YNP says here is that this amendment is to be expected to offer clarity and reduce burdens for the international student stream and applicants applying with one year certificates. I believe this has been long pending for you know quite some time now and this is a much needed respite for these students. Last but not the least, Ontario said that they want to introduce a minimum amount of uh, the OINP's administrative uh, monetary policies. They should raise that to $10,000. This will help avoid a lot of uh, misrepresentations of frauds or scams with re uh, regards to OINP. Guys, Ontario is one such province that continuously goes on overhauling. They previously had overhauled their uh, the PNP programs with regards to the entrepreneur stream as well. Now they're doing this. 
they um, ontario the if you know the previous news that was out the ontario immigration minister had also proposed a couple of changes they wanted more control over the kind of applicants that they are inviting and they also want to increase the quota as well right now ontario is uh, able to select only 5% of the population heading towards it and they want to increase more on that part and they want to control the kind of profiles that are heading towards the ontario province guys ontario is a, a good destination for people to come over however the other pnps like alberta pnp the british columbia pnp or the manitoba pnp are also bagging a lot of awards in terms of public affinity you know more flexible programs as such so you should definitely check those provinces check those pnp programs because they are also as good as the ontario programs if not worse right so they are even better than this Guys, I hope the news today was helpful. Gave you much insights into what's happening in the world of PNPs and immigration. If you have anything specific to discuss with me, please feel free to schedule a consultation with me. I would be more than happy to speak to you in detail. Once again, wish you all the best, and I really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.